What's up guys, we have some crazy NASCAR news to go over. So much has been announced in the past two days. So much that has to do with the future of NASCAR long term. So let's start with what was announced yesterday. It is that in the Cup Series in 2021 with the next gen Cup car, they are officially going to use single lug nuts on each wheel. Now, the reason they're doing this is because they're switching to an 18-inch aluminum wheel like every streetcar uses, but they said that with the torque, the different load with this next-gen car, that the five lug nuts, if one came loose on, on that big wheel, it, it would, it could be very disastrous and one, and the wheel could just fall off. And with having one, you're not going to get very far. If that thing's loose, you're not even going to get on, on the track. So it, I think it's in a way a good move by NASCAR because they want to get more stock. So they're going with these 18 inch aluminum wheels. They used to have 15 inch ones, which is not what any street car has. So I'm glad that they're going, uh, this way with these single lug nuts. Now, people are saying it's going to be like an F1 stop or an IndyCar stop. No, it's not. It's only a little bit quicker with these things um, instead of the five lug nuts because the pit crew's still going to have to jump over the wall. It's not going to be like they're sitting there like an IndyCar and F1 already. It's not going to be like that. So the, the pit stop is going to look the same in a way that's just a little bit shorter because they don't have five lug nuts, five lug nuts on each wheel. They just have one big single lug nut on each wheel. Uh, so that's big news there. There's a picture of William Byron and uh, him testing the next gen car at Auto Club Speedway on Monday and Tuesday. Um, he crashed it, but I mean, that's good data. So, okay. Um, the clash next year, the Bush clash, we got the Daytona speed week schedule for next year in 2021 and the Bush clash will start it off on Tuesday night, February 9th, and it will be the Daytona road course that IMSA races on at night on Tuesday night. They are compressing speed weeks into one single week, not two weeks to shorten the schedule. Like they've been saying for a while, like the Pocono double header, and it'll be a road course. This will be pretty crazy so then they got that on tuesday night a road course at daytona the first time nascar's ever raced that um on wednesday we don't know if it'll be day or night they'll have daytona 500 qualifying then on thursday they'll have the duels then on friday night or evening they'll have the truck race then here's another new thing on saturday they'll have a double header with the xfinity series and and the Arca Menard series. I'm pretty sure the Xfinity series will be before the Arca race. So the Arca race will be at night and the Xfinity series will be way earlier in the day. And then obviously on Sunday, February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, uh, the Daytona 500, the Cup series will be racing um, on Sunday. So that is the Daytona speed weeks for 2021. Quite a bit different, especially with that road course for the Clash. They're saying they're doing this to differentiate the Clash from the Daytona 500 and build up more um, hype towards the Daytona 500 and the entire speed weeks of that one week now. So, um, yeah, I'm at first when I seen it, I don't know how I felt about it. Then I seen it was at night and, uh, it's just kind of getting better and better, but it's still definitely going to be weird, especially with this new next gen car on it. Now, Tony Stewart smoke he is returning for the NASCAR Xfinity Series race at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, which will be on July 4th. Yes, that actual day. Um, and we already know it's going to be a Roval type thing. It'll be the Indianapolis road course, the one that F1 races on, the 14 turn one. And yes, Tony Stewart will be racing. He will be racing for Stuart Haas Racing in the Xfinity Series. Obviously, his own team number, uh, team, crew chief, sponsor, partner. That, that'll all be announced uh, closer to the race at a later date. But that is all we know right now. Tony Stewart back in the Xfinity Series uh, for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course. Obviously, he is is from Indianapolis. So uh, he says he's going for the win. So we'll have to wait and see. Been a three year hiatus for Tony Stewart. So we will have to wait and see, especially uh, since he'll be an Xfinity car. It's been way longer uh, since he's been in an Xfinity car. But 2016 Homestead was his last NASCAR race, which was in the Cup Series at Homestead. Now, Jimmy Johnson tweeted that Aero McLaren SP, which is a IndyCar team, is letting him hop in one of their cars and test Barber Motorsports Park. And 
in an IndyCar, so that'll be really crazy. Um, once again, Jimmy Johnson getting close with IndyCar, as we kind of already new kind of getting alluded to um jimmy johnson will also be doing the command at atlanta motor speedway from his car he will be saying driver start your engines while some current and former military officers will be doing the national anthem of course and yeah that's going to be great by jimmy johnson i really hope he does it well in his car at atlanta motor speedway in a couple of weeks uh probably his final atlanta motor speedway race in the cup series at least and jeb burton will be returning to the truck series for two races atlanta coming up in a couple weeks and michigan for nice motorsports no number announced yet but he will be in one of their chevrolet silverados so that'll be great to see there he did like maybe it was one or two races maybe three races for them last year in the truck series as well so thank you so much for watching this video guys can't wait to see how Jeb does in trucks. Jimmy, bunch of news. Tony's back. The Clash, all of Daytona next year is pretty crazy. And of course, that crazy single lug nut on the next gen car that will only be on the Cup Series, not trucks or Xfinity. They will stick with five and a smaller wheel as well, not aluminum either. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye, guys.